Happy Gamers Day, everyone, and we are here with another haul video right after this. Well, like I said at the beginning of my opening, uh, it is National Gamers Day, and if you're like me, you've been gaming all your life, so you don't really need a special day for it. Uh, but, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying the day. Uh, hopefully some of you have it off, you guys are doing some cool stuff. Um, this is my whole video for this week. Now, I know I've been gone last week, uh, I didn't really get nothing, so I didn't think it was worth doing a video last week, so I am back with a video. Uh, I got some cool stuff. And I got something that I've been waiting for three and a half months, almost four months for. Uh, I purchased a package off of Amazon uh, and it purchased on June, I think June 12, I think is when I purchased it. And I just received it this past, this earlier this week, this Thursday. Uh, and I honestly, I was, never so pissed off about something in my life other than this one package. Uh, now the seller was all right because I messaged them and they decided, hey, you know what? Um, we're gonna send you a new one be uh, through, you know, expedited uh, mail. So I would get it faster. I got it in a week, uh, but I still have my original package somewhere out there in the world. I can't track it. I don't know where it is, and I don't know when it's going to show up, but I will be keeping both. Uh, I've never reviewed any seller on Amazon or eBay or any of those, uh, but I think this is going to be my first ever. Uh, I think that you guys should avoid this seller as much as possible. Uh, I've never wanted to write a negative review, but I have been waiting for this forever. And like I said, if I had a certain way of tracking my package, it would be something that I wouldn't be complaining about because I knew where it was, I knew when it would come, or how far it was from my house. Uh, but yeah, uh, Horrible Seller goes by TJ Rises. Uh, they are on uh, Amazon, I'm not sure about eBay. Uh, they specialize in wall scrolls. And don't get me wrong, the wall scroll is absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna show you soon. Though the service sucked, the shipment sucked, Everything about that seller and how he chooses to ship his products is probably the worst I've ever had to deal with on Amazon. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna get a negative review. Um, great poster quality, the fabric is amazing, uh, but it is a really horrible seller. I don't, I don't uh, want you guys to purchase something off there and take an absolute year to get to you. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it was. Uh, that I got, it's really cool. Uh, and it is something I wanted the most, and it is my Cloud Strife wall scroll. And of course you guys know that I have the wall scroll of Sephiroth. So this is gonna go upstairs beside Sephiroth and its own personal thing. And like I said, uh, this is classic Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I always wanted it. And they were the only seller on Amazon that had it. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, very pissed off with how they did it. But as you can see, the wall scroll isn't very amazing. Uh, but it's not going to save them from my bad review. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys are looking for wall scrolls and you can't find them anywhere, uh, avoid TJ Styles. Uh, TJ Rises, sorry. I'll leave it underneath on this video uh, so you guys can remember the horrible company. Uh, so next up, I got some really cool things. 
I got a new vinyl album, and it is Today's Top Sounds Moving Full Tilt. Uh, now, uh, this is a combination of different songs, of course, uh, but the only reason I actually really wanted it is because it has one of my absolute favorite songs, Turning Japanese by The Vapors. Uh, I love that song, and you know, how uh, ironic is it that, you know, um, pretty much if I was, if I was, you know, born another nationality, I would definitely would want to be Japanese because they have all the best stuff. Uh, I, I've loved Japanese culture and just Japanese lifestyle, uh, so that would be one awesome thing if I was Japanese. But I'm Portuguese and I'm happy to be Portuguese and Canadian, so. Next up. I went to Tilly's yesterday, and I picked up the Adobe um, Photoshop uh, package for $3.99. Uh, this is the complete uh, Photoshop 5, uh, CS5 extended um, version of the thing. This is a teacher slash student's uh, copy of it. And it came with all the code, so I can, you know, I installed it, and I can actually use Photoshop again. Now, this one brings a whole bunch of stuff. It brings Photoshop uh, CS5 Extended, Illustrator CS5, InDesign, uh, Acrobat 9 Pro, Flash um, Catalyst, uh, Flash Professional, Flash Builder, Dreamweaver, Fireworks, Contribute, uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Sound Booth, On Location, and Encore. Uh, now, you guys know that this package, if I was to buy this brand new, is in the hundreds. Uh, so, finding this at Talese for right here, as it says, $3.99. Finally, I can use Photoshop again. I can do my photos like I always wanted to, and it's going to look insane. I also picked up uh, a couple of movies um, at Talese, and I picked up this uh, anime which I don't know anything about. This is Volume 3. I just noticed now I thought it was Volume 1, but that's okay. Uh, it's Konakumi. I know I'm butchering that, but uh, it looks pretty awesome. It looks like it's... Uh... Actually, I don't know what it looks like. I love watching anime that I don't know of, so I don't have high expectations. I go in and I'm like, oh, I really love it or I really hate it. So uh, I got that to watch at three, uh, $4.99, so... You know, you can buy Blu-rays, DVDs there, perfect. Next up, I got one of my favorite movie collections that I have not seen the second and third of, and it's from one of my favorite martial artists, Tony Ja, and it's Um Buck 3. Uh, now, uh, I love the original Um Buck. Um, two and three go back in time. It's basically an older uh, gen kind of movie going into the roots of Muay Thai. Uh, I like better, uh, you know, not that I like better. I think I just, I follow, um, you know, movies that are more into our time. Um, what I mean about that is that it takes place in present day. Uh, but I really want to see this. My friend Tolio totally is amazing. Uh, so I'm going to go by his word because he loves martial arts movies as much as I do. And Tony Jaa, like I said, is one of my favorites. So I'm going to watch that because I haven't seen it yet. And since we are on Gamer's Day, I got a couple of awesome new games for my collection. Uh, one I already had, but I sold the um, the regular copy and I got the Collector's Edition, is uh, Threat Rhyme Final Fantasy Curtain Call. Now this is the only rhythm-based game I've ever owned. Uh, I love it because I love the Final Fantasy soundtracks. Uh, especially 7, since you guys know I'm playing 7. Uh, but GameCycle had this uh, received in. Somebody traded it in. Uh, and I wanted the collector's edition because mine was a normal edition that I bought when I was in America and it was kind of destroyed of the cover. So I made sure that I went right away and I got this. And the really cool thing is that it comes with the soundtrack on CD and it's still sealed. Uh, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, I have this cover on it. It's not proper for it because it does stick out a bit, but uh, I use it to protect the cover. Uh, but I'm just so happy that I got it. Uh, I got the first one and I got the second one. And the second one is the best because it has over 260 songs and more Final Fantasy VII stuff and Advent Children and Crisis Core, so I'm good with that. Next up, I did pick up another system. 
Uh, one that I originally had way back when, and I got the case to, uh, but I picked myself up a PSP 3000. Uh, now, the reason I picked myself up a PSP 3000 was because there was one game that I wanted to play the most that has never been released on any other system or digital download or anything, and it is Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, or Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which takes place before Final Fantasy VII the game. Uh, now, this game has never been released again due to one stupid technical thing, is that they can't use the music because they lost the rights, so we lost our music. We lost our game, uh, and it's a shame because it's one of the best PSP games ever, and it is an exclusive to PSP, and you'll never see it again, unless Square Enix goes in and completely takes out the music that is under copyright, uh, which I don't see, so if you have yourself a copy of it or you see it at a store, it's not that much. It's paid $14.99. Uh, PSPs are very hard to find now. I found this one at the flea market and it's pretty mint condition, which I'm happy. I just had to buy a new battery, which is not too expensive. You can buy it for $15 at Game Cycle. Uh, so I will be replaying that because uh, it's been a while since I played it and I never did beat it back then, so I want to replay it. I also picked up this Disignia. I, I always have trouble saying this. Dis Disgaea, Disgaea, Disignia. I don't know. Final Fantasy, and this is the first uh, all Final Fantasy fighting game uh, for the PSP. Uh, now, it's really cool because you can play as all the good guys and all the bad guys. You can have dream matches, uh, but it is another game that I really want to buy just because I love the cover art, and I got it for 7 bucks at Game Cycle. And it is complete, and it's pretty mint condition. So I got that to play because I haven't played that one. Next up, I'm playing... A game that originally came out today, but I got it yesterday because I'm awesome. And it is the game I wanted the most for my Switch this year. And it is Damien X Machina. Now, if you guys do not know what this game is, uh, it's sad because, you know, this game should get a lot more credit and get uh, promoted a lot more. And this is a very awesome mech type game. So if you're into uh, Mech Warrior or Mech Assault, or if you guys had that love for uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X and you wanted to drive around a mech and shoot stuff and blow stuff up, now this is the game. Now this is uh, a lost art kind of game. Uh, and I mean that as people nowadays don't tend to want to play these games anymore for f some stupid reason. Uh, because they are the best. It's very Japanese, which, you know, I love Japanese. I love anime. Uh, and I'm so happy that I got it yesterday. I've been playing it for a bit. Uh, now this is my sealed copy. I have an open copy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to continue playing it. I've been playing it like crazy. And if you guys do want to try it, there is the demo on the eShop that you can download uh, that will transfer your save data when you get the full version of the game. Uh, which is exciting. So I hope you guys enjoy your Gamer's Day, because uh, I'm going to enjoy my Gamer's Day since I have a long weekend. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing and following this awesome channel that I try to make for you. It is Classically Trained, and as you know, I am Mr. Classic. Thank you guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Hey everyone, hold on. Before you turn me off, I have one more thing that I need to add to this week's haul. And I'm adding it now because it is a few hours later than when I filmed my uh, first half of this show. Uh, so I went to Game Cycle on Hamilton Street and I was lucky enough to find a Final Fantasy VIII action figure. Of course, it's from Squall. And you know, I kind of changed my mind. I might actually try uh, Eight for myself. I think it might be a game I actually really like. I'm not sure. Uh, I know a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't like it. I want to beat 7 first and then, you know, I'll give it a shot. So I found this for 29 bucks. It's in pretty good condition. It's not mint, uh, but it's the first time I've seen a Final Fantasy action figure at anywhere other than conventions. So I grabbed it right away and it is my main character. So that's pretty awesome.